and say, no, you've I just seen episode blah, blah, blah. But I kind of like the applause tonight. So <laughs> finale of season three of the Royals, and look who's here. Like, all the This is Elizabeth Hurley. She plays the queen. This is the newly crowned King Robert. It's not such a mess bag. That is Prince Liam, still the prince. Jeffrey, he takes your questions and comments. Yeah. 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 Great. Soon to leave us for to be a CEO of some major. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for now, he's here. This is Alex Park, Princess yeah. Eleanor. Yeah. Yeah. I think you know Tom Austin plays Jasper. Yeah. Yeah. And such a treat tonight, all the way from parts unknown, Jake Maskell. Yeah. Yeah. until tonight's episode. Yeah. Oh. However, <laughs> however, that's so not to say like that there won't be a redemption coming because it feels like <laughs> Cyrus and Liam are about to uh, fortify some sort of partnership. Um, Jake, yes. Will, are you watching the show again? Yeah, I'm watching it. The whole thing going on over here. I told you. Know, you. It keeps Will pacified. We don't mind. That's why we put him next to Jeffrey. So let me ask you, Jake, since we haven't heard from you this season. Yes. Um, it feels like when, when Liam walks in that, that bedroom door and says, I need your help, and we see Cyrus rise, I mean, it, it feels like he has motivation and inspiration he hasn't had in a long time. When's the last time someone came to him for help in a genuine capacity? I don't think it's really happened, you know. I think the, the opposite is that he's been spurned and spurned and, you know, mm -hmm. tossed aside and not taken seriously. And I just I think he there's something, a twinkle in, in uh, wi Liam's eye that and gives... Really. And, well, William, yeah, and that's a twinkle. <laughs> he's a twinkler. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Google that, kids. Other stuff will come up. <laughs> but it does feel like that is going to be a partnership and an alliance that is really interesting, one we haven't seen before. And whether or not his darkness infiltrates you or your goodness infiltrates him a bit or a bit of both. I, I mean, call, call me crazy. I'm excited to see where that goes. What's well, it's, it's been great as well. It's, throughout the seasons, how uh, Liam has repeated what, what Cyrus, you know, advice Cyrus has given, mm -hmm. um, which is interesting. Where I think that's where the seed was planted. The seed was planted, I, I feel, in episode nine, when Cyrus said some things about being king, uh, Liam watched Robert's behavior, yeah. and then sort of parroted back what Cyrus had said. Yeah. There was a little bit of counsel there. Yeah. 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 So Will, do you well, agree or are you I, still worried? I really feel like um, Liam has sort of exhausted every other option. And so, <laughs> he really has. Sure. comes to Cyrus. <laughs> it's nothing I mean, he's tried his sister, he's tried Jasmine, he's tried his mum, he yeah. tried his. Oh, you know, he, he's tried everybody. Cat Glad Catherine, I'm the last resort. And Cyrus <laughs> was uh, the last resort, so uh, I think that's why he's knocking at his door now. I think that's true, and I think this was a season where Liam lost a lot of things. Yeah. And you know when you hit rock bottom, yeah. There's enter Cyrus. Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> At the very There's only one way to go. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's yeah. exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Now, Elizabeth. Yes. At the <laughs> end of this episode, um, the Queen finds out that Robert has dismissed Spencer, and it seems like she feels she's created a bit of a monster. Do you think that's where she's at? Is can he? Can, is there a reclamation project? Because she's pretty close with Robert. Can she? And will she talk some sense into him, or does she smell like this is the beginning of a bad moon rising? Well, I'm not sure, because mothers traditionally will defend their cubs right till the end. And he has always appeared to be her favorite son, even though obviously she loves Liam, but he's the golden boy and has been for <laughs> however old you're meant to be in this show. What are you, 24 or something? 24, yeah. 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 So, 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 <laughs> sir, 24. <laughs> So you I just had know. a birthday, didn't you, Max? <laughs> yes. <Yep. laughs> I won't so ask. I, I think. Yeah, no, I think. I think it. 
I don't think we'll resolve this in episode one, season four. Put it that way. Right. I'm sure there'll be some on. <laughs> well, the good news is a season to we'll have at that. least ten more to resolve that, won't yeah. we? Yeah. Now, Max, you have a very interesting theory about um, there's been some talk online that maybe Prince Robert had something to do with King Simon's death, but you have another theory. Do I? Yes. <laughs> we discussed this? We did discuss it. It has something to do with, with the Queen's Cubs. Maybe in real life. Um, oh! <laughs> I'm just making a, a joke that it was yes. the Prince of... Lichtenstein. Yes, exactly. He said that maybe Hansel yeah. killed the king. Oh, yeah. he's, uh, he's further down the line, but he's going to take us all right, out. <laughs> well, Max, I was amused by it. Yeah. The setup was kind of poor, but I thought it was. Well, it would have helped if I'd have remembered it. Yeah. 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 Now, we're going to get back to all things Prince Robert because Robert dropped some bombs in that episode. Yeah. I mean, Catherine, it looked like she Sorry. was maybe going a little crazy yeah, in, that, in that final scene. And it's clearly, really um, but all right, well, let's get to it now because Robert came back, I think motivated by his interest, genuine interest in Catherine. Yeah. And as we found out tonight, came back to see his brother in this you know, uh, moment of passion with Catherine. And that seemingly set a lot of choices mm -hmm. um, uh, in motion for the season. Um, is Robert, is Willow part of that revenge, do you think? That's a good question. I haven't really thought about that. I, I, think I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it probably is. He's definitely punishing his brother. If only you just told me that too. Sorry, dude, I thought you were dead. <laughs> I, I may have kissed your girlfriend. Kiss. Well, it's, it's interesting that you wouldn't have had a very good season then, would we? <laughs> <laughs> But it well, we, could have all been prevented. <laughs> we, we talked about that a lot in the writers' room when, when the idea of Liam and Catherine came up, which I was I was so thrilled about, and it was really good work by the writers. Um, it was really interesting because there were very vocal proponents of things you can or can't do, whether or not you believe your brother is dead. Mm. Um, and, it, and it sort of spiraled from there. And then, of course, well, what if he tells the truth? What if they just say, well, look, we, sorry, I thought you were gone. But that's no fun. And it, sort of, <laughs> and it sort of went from there and turned into one of these really great sins of omission where nobody tells the truth. And then, of course, um, I think Robert's uh, upset and anger and, ve and vengeance sort of, of grows of, and grows. Of all the things that I did throughout this series, that was the only one that you told me about. Yeah. So that's right. Yeah, you said you know that they were together, and so I had that to play with the whole season. But then that last episode came out, and I was quite shocked. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. We we had to ride an elevator to the post show, and we got on the elevator, and Max Lino you know, he said, "Man, you killed me tonight." <laughs> But, um, but, you know, there are a lot of actors where I would selfishly not tell them that information because I, I would worry that they would play into it. Uh, but I did feel like you would be really responsible. You did such a great job. Oh, the, the, the addition of Robin has taken the show to some great levels. And, um, and, and I, you know, you, you, you had such a great season, Max. Really good stuff, and I'm excited. It feels like, like we've been here from season. season one. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and well, he's still I, I, was, <laughs> just on an island. I was nice in season That's one right. and two. <laughs> um, you were on the island in season one and two. Right. Yeah. Alex, I want to I wanna I talk like about, it was uh, that scene. You guys did such an amazing job with that scene. I mean, I got to watch it with an audience which I love to do because everyone's just holding their breath in the scene between uh, you and Tom, uh, Jasper and Eleanor, when, when Jasper comes and says, you know, I love you for the first time. Um, it's some really, really uh, wonderful work. We talked about it last week a bit. Um, what, what do you think, like, is that good that, he heard, that she heard those things from Jasper? Is that what she needed to hear? Or, or is it more pain for her and something that she has to distance herself from, do you think? I think it's good. I think for her to hear those words, even though I think deep down maybe she hoped or assumed that he felt the same way that she did, I think to actually hear those words is a huge step for Jasper and Eleanor. Yeah. And um, regardless of the way she reacted or where we left, you know, the season, I think that that, that would have changed things and meant a lot to her. And you know, because that was the whole thing that she was she was 
you know, t churning in her head was that yeah. she said she loved him and that he couldn't say it back and that he ran away. I think it was a huge sort of revelation hearing right. that and have him say it to her face. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's a lot to take in because she's already sort of started to make decisions to do other things, but it's definitely a good thing. And I think she needed that. It was, I mean, who doesn't like being told, you know, they're loved? Yeah. <laughs> by the person they love. So. It's good. Robert. And Tom, <laughs> Tom, we shot that scene on the last day of the season. Yeah. And I remember we sat, uh, we sort of closed the set and just sat, the three of us, and talked about it. Um, it was, it was such, it's such a riveting scene, such a striking scene to watch. And I feel like Jasper was being as open and as honest as he's been mm -hmm. in any situation with her, considering that they, their relationship was built on a lot of sort of deceit and gamesmanship. Yeah. You know, there was a lot of, well, I'll show you a bit of myself, but not everything. Yeah. And it feels like he started to show everything. Yeah. I mean, it's, fu it's funny because I think when you, when you play a character, you're so kind of in their head and think and, and you know trying to put yourself into where they're thinking and for me playing Jasper I kind of feel like he realized that he loved her probably at the end of the last season you know where they held hands in the, mm -hmm. at the at mm -hmm. the King's Cup and it never really kind of hit me until I watched it just now that that's the first time he says it out loud to her yeah because I feel like I've kind of I Played the whole scene that right. the, sorry the whole season that, that they were in love but this was the first time that he told her and that, that for me only kind of really registered when I when I just watched it just now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it is it's so it's so nice to having having played someone for the last, you know, two and a bit years or whatever that is is Three, so, well no, but until now. <laughs> Let him finish. Sorry. Like, um, <laughs> see this is what I've got with. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's so nice to play someone who who, who was so kind of um, Deceptive and, and and to be just so completely honest, right at the kind of final moment, right. was, this yeah. was cool. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. and 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 in many ways, uh, you know, we always bet on the success of the show. It's <laughs> a good answer. Sorry. Uh, we always bet on the success of the show. Um, had we not continued, which was never an option, um, you know, it was nice for him to have those words. It was nice to see those two being at least honest in that moment. Even though, even though Eleanor says, I've been through the fire, I'm not sure I can do that again. And you know, it's, I'm not saying it's an easy road back, but you, at least you start from an, a place of honesty as opposed to a lot of games and, yeah. and, and deception. And I think I remember you telling us when we were shooting that it was the longest scene that had ever been oh, yeah. in, the, in the whole series. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, it did go on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on online? I'll be interested to see the fallout. We're, we're just going to jump right into the, the fan theory. Some Eagle Eye viewers said they noticed something written on Catherine's board that said something something about getting doctor results. Could you? Uh, does that mean anything? Um, you know, I, I, wrote, I wrote and directed that oh, episode. Come on. <laughs> Ask the question, Will. <laughs> I wrote and directed that episode, and I might have had something to do with that with that chalkboard. Um, on the day, you know, I've been staring at it all year, and it's like she needs oranges, she needs tomatoes, like the the list. Tomatoes. 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 I have to say dynasty, I have to say all kinds of crazy stuff. Anyway, that board is all, dry, pick up dry cleaning. And I was directing on the day and I thought, you know, there's a lot of story left to tell. Maybe I'll make a couple adjustments on here. Very subtle, just in the top of the frame. So what could a lot of what, it said, what it said was doctor's results. So there could be a pregnancy between brothers. There could be herpes. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> or she could have the flu. Like yeah, she might have she, a cold. Or yeah. is, is that it? You know, yeah. next story, the storyline is intolerant. Which <laughs> STD did she get from which oh, product? Yeah. That's oh, what's okay. So yeah. Kelly wants to know, <laughs> did you guys have any inclination, or when did you have an inclination that Robert was a part of it? I know you didn't find out until the last... The, the, until you got the script, but did you have any... No, that's, kind of that's a great question. I, I think when I wrote the pilot, when you start a show like this that is sort of heightened drama, and you start with the death, and we went into the limo in, in the pilot, and Liam says, you know, how, how did Robert die? And, and uh, in a very sort of, used to say, don't let me be camp, don't let me be arch. And we had the net, remember you were battling yes. with the net on your, on your head? <laughs> yeah. and, and you said, um, he said, uh, he says, they said it was a military accident, and, 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 and Helena says, that's all you need to know. 
And I think when you plant that seed so soon in, in, the, in the series, you're probably holding a card up your sleeve. And uh, I always felt like Robert would come back. No, I'm just, did they know Robert was a part of our, all of this, all of the sort of treachery with all, within the characters? I've answered the wrong know. question. No, <laughs> did you guys know that he was a part of all of the uh, Did uh, they treachery? know? Yes. No. 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 Not until we got uh, uh, episode 10. And yeah. I remember reading it going, <laughs> yeah. Someone's taken over the mantle here. <laughs> yeah. You see, I used, Cyrus. I used to talk to Jake about all of the good story we had lined up for Cyrus, and all he would hear, and, Lee, and Will and I laughed about it one day, because I spent, I spent ten minutes enthusiastically waxing to Jake about all the great material, and I looked at Will and I said, all he heard was, blah, blah, blah. Don't kill the king. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I said, all he heard was blah, 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 not the king, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'm not the king. I'm blah, 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 I'm not the king. Exactly, which is wonderful because that's what, that's what Cyrus was going through. Hold on to the crown at all costs. Yeah, all costs. You know, if I lose the crown, I'm out. Yeah. Until, of course, Liam walks in and says, help well, he, me, and there's a potential for, for a resurrection. Uh, well, he, he's possibly saved my life. Yeah. 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 Elizabeth, Ironic. Elizabeth uh, Taylor would like to know, do you think Robert had anything to do with uh, Mr. Parker's death? Oh, well. Yes, in retrospect now, having everyone witness 10, I think there's probably a good chance because he's a very jealous elder son. He doesn't like me holding Spencer's hands. He certainly didn't like me falling in love with Jack. So very possibly. <laughs> How about King Simon, possibly? Well, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of talk wow. about Who haven't you wow. killed? <laughs> now, again, I, I feel like uh, if you go back and track, other than you know Robert's jealousy with his brother, um, you can see that uh, there's, there will always be some sort of plausible reason for the choices that, that Robert is making. And it could simply be that he was trained by uh, a queen who always protected the identity of the monarchy. Always image first. And, and he's come back and said, no, oh, no, you got to stop. You can't be with the bodyguard. You can't be with the commoner. Like, we're going to push it. You can't be with an American businessman or the help. You know, we got to stop with all this stuff, and it's almost like, uh, look, I'm not saying he's not villainous, but I'm saying that there is always a plausible reason from a good place. for the choices that he <laughs> makes. That's right. Um, I'll let you know. Yes. Ashwin wants to know if Eleanor was to find out that Robert meddled, would that change the situation? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I, definitely. Okay. And yeah, is that with change. Jasper or with Sebastian? Jasper. Absolutely. That I think she will never find out. You can't out. find out. Because <laughs> <that. laughs> only he knows. Um, it's Until impossible. it's revealed. Yeah. But I mean, yes, that would change. I mean, that would just be that would be just shock. But he did make a phone call, so someone else knows. Yeah, Mr. Frost knows. Mr. Frost knows. <laughs> well, Mr. Frost knows he was approached by him, but no one knows. He doesn't. Be interesting to meet Mr. Frost. No, Mr. Frost knows. Yeah, we'd like to meet Mr. Frost. Yeah, it might be interesting to meet Jasper Frost. But you know, some people on Twitter thought that um, Jack was Mr. Frost. Yes, they did. Yeah. 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 Yes, they did. It was Jasper's daddy. Yes, they did. <laughs> yeah. There was a bit of that. Weirder things have happened on this show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, well, uh, we'll do a poll or some sort, and certainly we want to hear yes. from the fans, especially tonight. A lot of people are watching. A lot of people are watching, sending tons of emojis in. Nice. I love emojis. What kind? Yeah, what kind? A lot of hearts. 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 Wow, thumbs up. Good, good surprise, good, good. I think. Good. Right. Right. Caterpillars. Any weird no, ones? No, no. Caterpillars. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do a poll right now. Let's ask them. Uh, this will be an easy one, um, I think. Um, should Eleanor get some distance for the six months that Sebastian you know, proposed, and go off and, and, and find out and, and sort of follow her creative muse yes. and, 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 and explore her talents and then come back no. with a clear head, or should she, <laughs> or should, or should she stay put? Stay. All right. Um, which emoji for go? Thumbs up. And stay? Sad face. 
Jeff, well, that's all right. They, they won't care which emoji it is. Jeff, <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey talks emoji. So sad face is stay right, and thumbs up is go. No, <laughs> yeah, but that's the opposite to yeah. Jeff. Well, that's wrong. <laughs> that is wrong. That is wrong. That's that's wrong. The opposite. Wrong. Sad face up is, is staying, leave Jeff's exactly. spot. Yeah. Thumbs up is stay. You're putting yeah. too much meaning oh, on the emoji. So now you've confused Jeffrey. everyone. And you should have red heart and blue heart. 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 Just color code it, Jeffrey. Okay. A lot of thumbs up. A lot of thumbs up. I think people want them to stay. I think it wants them to stay. A lot of sad faces. I think people kind of want to mean. Just sad faces. I think they're sad for the situation. Are the fans getting a glimpse of how this show goes? This is why we make. This is how we shoot an episode. It's confusion. It's chaos. I'm just happy to be a part of it. I think they want her to stay. Yeah. It's mostly people want to stay. The comments are saying they want to stay. They want to stay. Yeah, I think stay. Yeah. Oh, all right. I think that's kind of nice. You order some episodes. So. It's not as <laughs> if you, it's not as if you go, you won't be in the episodes. And Jasper certainly. Well, he's a bit tethered. We haven't even talked he's about a bit it, tethered so. to Robert right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and possibly, I suppose, to infiltrate from within. But possibly, he may uh, he may form an alliance with Robert. He may find out that Robert has. Um, uh, you know, a heart in that uh, beating chest, in that chest, beating and heart I, in that yeah. chest of his. I might. Block maybe and then he might shoot it. Maybe just. <laughs> <laughs> I might prove that. Design things together. Oh, sure. Now, Rosie hooked you guys up. Rosie got you in the room tonight, which was nice. Sarah's here. Sarah, just come out and see. Yeah. Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> Did you get her? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well done, Sarah, and thank well done, Rosie. Thank you. That was excellent. <laughs> what else is happening online, Jeffrey? We want to use this evening to answer a lot of questions from the fans because, you know, they've hung in there all season and we owe them that. This is a question for Tom from Cassie. Jasper's now sworn to protect the person who tried to ruin the relationship, of the love of his life. What would be his gut reaction to finding out Robert did that? To finding that out? Yeah. Um, I've got no idea, but I hope we do. Because I think that would be, I think that would be pretty explosive. Mm, quick draw answer. situation. Mm -hmm. Thanks. What? Well, quick draw Taking situation. Yeah. Quick draw yeah. 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 Safety. Yeah, I think I think he's put himself in a lot of uh, crap situations, like but I think he's been dealt without, a lot yeah. as well. So it'd be nice to see how he. Uh, Stumbling around in the dark. It'd be. Um, yeah. Whatever. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> hey, Jake. Yes. I noticed that Cyrus well, got uh, he got um, a phone call from his doctor. But he chose not to take the call. He threw the phone in the fire. Yeah. Potentially, that could be good news. That could be more bad news. Yeah. But had he taken that call, maybe the direction changes a bit. I completely agree with you. Um, I think he's was he, the frame of mind he was in. It could only be more bad news. Mm -hmm. And do you know what? He doesn't want any more bad news. That's why it went in the fire. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping in season four, Mark, that it is good news. <laughs> I am too, Jake. I am too. Depends on what your agent has to say. No, that's, that's not true. That's not true. Mark, is season four going to pick up immediately, or is there going to be a gap? Well, it's interesting. That's a great segue, Elizabeth, because... I can't his head Because work. that's the he thing. Have? Exactly. He has, you know, as you can see, Jake prefers the sideburns and this wonderful coiffed hair of his. And um, he rocked the mohawk, pseudo-mohawk, all season. If we pick up where we left off, mohawk, mohawk. back oh. to mohawk. Well, I decide, Mark, I, I thought, if you do make me have the mohawk again, I imagine you'll take it one stage further Bored. and no diet like the um, Union Bored. Jack. Red, white, blue. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up and you should shave it off. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I also envision, you know, if you're going to have an alliance with Will, I think that Liam, in the, you know, like twins, you know, I think they'll start dressing the same. Yes, I, agree. I think yes. Will have the mohawk. Yes! yes. 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 I'm, I'm actually busy. <laughs> October. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this show this, this is a man. <laughs> this is a man who didn't want to wear the Christmas jumper. What do you think he's going to say about Cyrus' wardrobe? You hated that jumper so much. Let's take a poll on that. I have a good reason to hate that jumper. It was... It you quite lovely. liked your jumper, though. <laughs> Just got to go with it. <laughs> okay, here's our next poll. For one episode, 
Liam dresses like Cyrus. Thumbs up or frowny face? Thumbs up or Liam goes to Ibiza. Lots of thumbs up. Lots of thumbs up. I'm going. Yeah. Yep. I'll Great. see you guys later. <laughs> All right, Jeffrey, what else is happening? A question for, uh, for Jake. Is there a possibility of redemption for Cyrus, or do you think he's just no, too far off? Oh, Elizabeth <laughs> says no. It depends how much goodness from Liam rubs off on him. But uh, no, I, I, it's just not part of his nature, I don't think. And, um, you know, he's tasted the crown, and it's been taken from him. And That's a lot. You're a murderer. <laughs> true, true. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's something to think he about. He murdered the man on the... Boot of the car. Mm. Who was that? That was your yes. Jeffrey. 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 Not this Jeffrey. Can we come flirting? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jeffrey's very old. You murdered the man in the boot of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hear that on every, any show but the Royals. <laughs> <laughs> Poor um, Jeffrey's. Well, normally I, I I use this time to call my mom. Um, so do you want to do that? Yeah. 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 Call her. Let's call mom. I hope that the uh, speaker will. Uh, can you hear that? Where's Mike? Can you put it on the speaker? Here. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, mom? Yes. I was thinking that maybe you would like to make an appearance on this yes. final show. Yes. Okay, so like we. Sorry, Mark. That's all right. I'm not used to it. I'm the youngest of three, you know. I come last. I know. That's right. When, when I when I oh, well, when I went like this because you blew me off, my finger went right in Alex's mouth. <laughs> so you only get that on the post show of the season three. Right there. Mom, what did you think of the episode? Oh gosh, Mark. Where do I start? It was it was a dramatic one. It so much that where do you start? Well, I mean, well, we we, <laughs> uh, we have we have a new king. <clears throat> yes, we do. Do you expect good or bad things from that? Oh my God, so devious. <laughs> yeah, he does seem so a little sneaky. Devious. Oh my goodness. Well, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth. <laughs> You. <laughs> now, what about Liam and Cyrus? Oh, that's a surprise. And do you now, think that is a surprise? It is. I quite yes. agree. Yeah, I was surprised. And do you, and do you but think? I like it. It's yeah. I like it because it brings another another color to the show. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And and then there's Jasper and Eleanor. At Jasper came. Oh, and, that was wonderful. Yeah, that was We're good. so happy that you finally told her that you loved her. Yeah. I mean, everybody's yeah. been wanting that the whole season. Mm. Tell her, tell her. And then finally, the little girl brings... Um, Sarah Alice brought the book. Brought the book. Yes, That's right. that was wonderful. Did and you then make it you yourself? burned the letter. Oh. oh, it's getting worse and worse. Yep. Well, <laughs> poor guy. We, but my, my, I know that you have a soft spot, though. You, you always have a so soft spot for the villain when they show a bit Jamie. of remorse. <laughs> when they show a bit of remorse, yes. exactly. Yes. So we don't know who is strictly villain and who is a reclamation no, project yet. No, because Cyrus might come back and start turning a little bit, which would be great. Yeah. <laughs> but we like you as a villain. We do like you as well. I kind of like playing. Yeah. Also. Now, what do you think about Robert and Willow? Do you think that's more just to you just to what? jab his brother, or? But do you... you know what? When when they were together, I kind of liked them. Yeah. I mm -hmm. thought you guys look good together. Mm. See. I did. What do you guys think, fun. Robert and Willow? Yeah. Potential? Yeah. yeah. Look, it's always split. <laughs> it's always split. Um, well, I think he could do better. Than Willow? Than Catherine? Than Catherine. Oh, Me too. <laughs> I really like Catherine. Oh, 
Yeah. No, I don't yeah. like her for you. Well, well, thanks for throwing cats under the bus. <laughs> she, chose, she chose the wrong guy, didn't didn't she? Well, she chose the wrong guy, but I think you can do a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is why we need you for this honest exactly. That's right. I did, did at the rap party. I did ask her because she's kissed both Christina. Of you, Christina, yeah. Who was the better kisser? She told me the answer. Oh. <laughs> One of you used tongues. Oh, 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 you did! I saw it! <laughs> I don't use tongues. You did! Is that me? I saw it on camera. You did. Replay! Where is she? You did! Where is she? It's gone off the rails! Right? <laughs> the neck, I'm getting the neck. <laughs> <laughs> your wife's you, going to be real. You're now the end. You should just... Yeah. Yeah, no! Like, no. Just, no. just kidding. Don't listen to him, Max. Never. I didn't see no, you I using any tongue. I feel bad for you. I, 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 I'm the guy with this. I know I didn't use tongues, so you're wrong. <laughs> a CGI <laughs> tongue. We could get it up on a big screen and watch it. Yeah. Maybe she could kitchen table. Well, on the kitchen table. I directed that episode, and I have been known to say, like, why don't we race it up a little bit? So, but you say you didn't. So, I will say that. I saw some eyes dripping. Do you like watching it with the cast, or whether you prefer to watch it at home? I like to watch it by myself. <laughs> okay. Jeffrey because got us out of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. I did. That's That's why I like next Jeff Jeff by so you like to be? You'd it. rather watch it at home. You don't. You wouldn't want to watch it with all, all well, the cast. Well, this was great. Okay. But I think I need to watch it about three times. There was so oh. much going on. Okay. So you prefer the phone call. I will also say, but I will also say that, that my mother, God bless her, likes to talk during the show. I did. All right, she as she talks at the screen. We went to a screening yesterday. At the at, we went to a screening of the 20th anniversary of Jerry Maguire. And Cameron Crowe was there to do Q and A, and I said to my mother, "Now listen, the people here, like nobody's going to be talking. They'll be re very respectful during That's the." Right. Every time Cuba Gooding Jr. was on camera doing his stuff, he'd get hit in the football game. She's like, oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, that's terrible, Mark. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. The little boy, the little boy told him he said, fuck, that was funny. And I'm like, mom. Wow, like she's just into it. She's into it. Yeah, I'm into it. Yeah, you're so right. Yeah, I'm into it. Yeah, I'm into it. That's right. Sorry about the other one. I get passionate. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, she. No, but she likes to. I'm just like you are. That's 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 true. Where do you think you got it? The apple didn't fall far from the tree. Doesn't fall far from the tree. Well done. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Jeffrey. Get us out of this. Okay. Some people want to know. Do we know? Do we know the princess's middle name? Uh, yes. Lily. Oh, princess. Yes. Because Lily it was on. Like because know. it was on the trunk. We wait, saw wait. E. We saw E M H on the mm, trunk. That's right. I know. I know. I know. You told me a bit. I did tell you. Could you? Marjorie. No. <laughs> Mike. Nope. Marion. I got. I have to say now. I know what Lord. it is, but I Man. don't know what it is right now. <laughs> okay. Mindy. You yes. don't even know. Scarlett, Scarlett, do you remember what it was? You guys. Yeah, I think Ellen is middle name. I think the writers had been sent home, but there is a, there was a queen, a young <laughs> queen. Margaret. Young queen. Me. No, it's Margaret. Like, it's like Margaret. No, 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 I know. No, it's like Maud or uh, Maud. Yeah, queen Maud. 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 It might Maud. be. No, Maud. it is. No, 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 it's Maud. Where's well, Maud? Uh, Anyway, yeah, we don't right. know. Okay, Jared, Jared, Jared wants to know did, uh, who made the actual little book. Did, did little Alice get to help make that? At all? No. There's a funny story behind that. Because Tom, Tom had that scene over. Oh, she made a mess, is what she made. We were like coveting. They had all these like kind of props out on the thing, and she just she just only was interested in the glitter and just went for it. And the entire set was covered in the glitter. There's no glitter in the book because yeah. it was everywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the truth. The truth is, he's, Tom's absolutely right, and 
I spent so much money digitizing glitter off of people's faces. I was going to say, <laughs> the, because the, once glitter gets on set, it's everywhere. It's no, everywhere. And the, the scene oh, with yeah, you two, yeah. she had like just one piece of glitter, and you have to, you know, you have to Why go in. Why don't you just leave it? Like, it's nice. Oh, it was just one. It kept distracting me. It was just this <laughs> glitter catching the light. Nice. Um, <laughs> but there is there is one shot, and I think it's in the Christmas episode where um, when when you say does the um, does the caterpillar have scoliosis? Yeah. I drew that caterpillar. <laughs> <laughs> and David, and our first AD, made me sign it and, and kept it as a piece of art. Um, it's a really shit drawing. <laughs> um, but uh, the, the scoliosis caterpillar was mine. All the others were either Miley's or the art department mimicking what Miley had done so we had doubles and triples. All right, Mark, I have a question for you. Yes. Oh. Do you have any ideas? Can you listen to any ideas? Because we'd like to know this as well for next season. Or have you... He's not going to tell through. us, William. Really. You can tell us something. <laughs> Come on. That's William Mosley, King of the Spoiler. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I know. The king. <laughs> Jack's like, why does he get to be King of the Spoiler? Can he be Prince of the Spoiler? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, well, you know, the writers... Uh, when we write a finale, we do what we call forward planning. Because I don't want to write cliffhangers or anything into the finale where we don't know where it's going. We always do a bit of forward planning, just broad strokes, not specifics, because we'll get in a room for two months and talk about specifics. But yes, we do have some signposts, and no, I won't tell you what they are. <laughs> but you can see, you can see some things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously, we are going to investigate Willow and Robert a little bit and see you know what that's all about. We'll take a look at Cyrus and Liam. It could be for an episode, it could be for a moment, it could be for a season. So you know, but there, there are seeds planted. Can we um, ask one question each for yes, no, or not telling? Well, that's <laughs> one each. Well, Elizabeth, Ooh. you're number one on the call sheet, so you can pretty much do what you want. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what would you like to know? That. Uh, you can't say not telling six times, okay? All right, five of six, though. Okay. No. <laughs> no, half, half. Is no. Catherine coming back at all in season four screen time? Well, that's a, that's a great question. Catherine, God bless you, Christina. She did a great job. I think a round of applause for Christina. Tom, <laughs> so, um, you think that's the kiss of death applause? Yeah. Huh? You're like, oh, you're like heavy. Oh, Tom, sorry. as soon as I said it, you're like, that's not good. <laughs> uh, I will, I'll answer your question, and I want to tell a very quick anecdote that has to do with that. Because uh, when uh, Dame Joan was with us last season, we shot an episode, the episode where uh, the Grand Duchess admits that she was the one who killed um, Dominique. And, and Dame Joan worked like 13 hours that day. And at the end of the day, I went to her and I said, thank you so much. You were just, you were hung in there all day. It was hot on set. You did such a great job. We're all so happy to have you here and proud of you. And she just turned to someone and said, well, I guess he's killing me off. <laughs> <laughs> so that applause was not what it seemed like it was. Um, I would love to see that character. And I would like to have Christina back. And she did a great job. And she's a, such a good soldier and a good actor. She's a guest star. So the business of show, show business has to take place, you know, um, which is not under contract. This, these guys are all under contract. So it's about her so, availability so, yeah, as well. She might get another job, and that may take her away from us, but right now, my intention would be to see that character again, yes. Ooh. More questions. This, that was good. Yes. Yes. I've got a question. Yes. I bet it's about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> It's easy to write them fighting. Yeah. <laughs> I'll choose to ignore that one, Elizabeth. <laughs> so in season four... I'm just trying to think of another one. <laughs> Do I get to keep my bedroom? You see? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, no. In the finale... <laughs> in the finale... Robert says, you know, the, the bedroom, it's the king's bedroom, it's not your bedroom. And so possibly I'm kicking you out of the bedroom and probably I'm kicking you out of the palace. Or maybe it's the other way around. Um, I think that that bedroom is very Cyrus. Yes. I yes. think it's his domain. Yeah. And I think 
If we have the space and the money, the king will get his own bedroom and not be in the little transient holder bedroom that he was in last right. season. Well, look, on the floor. I didn't have a bedroom for two seasons. See, here we go. Yeah. What happened? What happened? He get a bedroom too late. Here we go. He got his blue room turned around. <laughs> she, 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 <laughs> like I had. Which is now Robin's room. You have the best bedroom now. You have the best bedroom now. She has the yeah. biggest yeah. thing. Yeah. The biggest set, the newest set, not good enough. He shouldn't have a bedroom for two seasons. <laughs> Yes. You demanded a bedroom last season as well. I didn't, didn't demand you. it, I just got it. Okay. <laughs> Actually, um... Yes, Will, what is okay, your okay. question? What is the question that Elizabeth is, has uh, deemed? Will I... I mean, I, I personally love doing all the physical scenes. I love doing the boxing scenes. I love doing the polo scenes. Will we get to do a big sort of epic, ensemble, physical kind of... Fight. You want to do that? 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 Do Totally. When yeah. we do a polo match, yeah. when we do those things, yeah. it feels, you know, there's a reason. We shoot the show in London, and it's quite a luxury to shoot the show in London. Yeah. Because if we're always going to stay in the palace, we could shoot yeah. that in New Mexico and get a nice rebate. Yeah. So, um, and it's an easier flight. So there's a reason that we're in London and we should see London more. And I think there are many events yeah. that we haven't done yet that we should yeah. do. Okay, great. And could do. I also think we should shoot a scene outside of London. We should go to Paris or we should go to, been to Paris. you know, Monte Carlo or we should go somewhere yeah. else and shoot it 100%. And not just the kids. Oh, no, you went, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. 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 And, and it rained the whole time we were there. It was a monsoon. Really. Monaco wasn't Monaco. It, yeah. was, it was right around the corner what? from the studio. <laughs> the, and, and a lot of digital wizardry. But Jeffrey, works, so. uh, well, Max, do you have a question? If if I do get a bedroom, will that painting, <laughs> will that painting be removed? Yes. Which one? The, the, the painting of Cyrus, the naked yeah. painting of Cyrus. That marks in. That marks in. Yeah. And they found it out, didn't they? Once the show wraps, that painting will go to my house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Along with along with the princess painting with the red graffiti over the face. No, it's just my portrait is above your bed now, though, isn't it? Yes, it's right there. Yeah. Wow. Diana, so. you know it's getting odd. Yeah. It's getting odd. Yeah. Uh, I would like I would like the king to have a proper bedroom, but not another two seats. And, yeah. <laughs> and they always say, you know, if there's a gun, you know, on camera, then it's got to be fired. If there's a gun in the in the in the Act One, it should be fired in Act Three. So if there's a bedroom for the for the king, then it should probably be used at some point. Well, so. can I say I've been here since the start, and I've been in everyone's bedroom except my own. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We don't have a bedroom. I'm just saying, let one of those pop up beds That's somewhere, right. anywhere. You're in the cellar. You're in the cellar. Yeah. You're in the You've not been in my bedroom. <laughs> the writers oh, often so. talk about Jasper and where he lives and what it looks like. And as you can imagine, you could run the gamut. Yeah. That could be really, really great, or it could be like a hot plate in a, in a little, you know, twin bed sitting by it. Because, you know, he's, he, he moves around. He's, you know, he's, he's got to cover his tracks. A, a, sort of, a sort of overarching question from Becca. She wants to know, what would King Simon think about all this? We got to see him again all of in what? this final <laughs> this all, of, well, all of, like, King Robert coming back, the craziness. They, they really relate it back to him. But you know, King, King Simon, what I love about the King Simon character, it's a long-winded answer once again, is that, is, that, is that amidst a lot of nefarious behavior, my mom talks about it a lot, King Simon was a good character. He was a yeah. character, who was, character who was noble and wanted the right thing for his family and for the country. And, and, and you need characters like that. I think James Hill is a character like that. Mm -hmm. You know, where, and Rocky plays him so well, Rocky Marshall. You have these characters who, they, they are mostly on the side of right, and mostly on the side of true. And I, I think we already know what, what Simon would feel. He was already feeling it. He felt like things had run amok, and that he needed to disband it, or they would never really be, a, a, you know, the family wouldn't survive it. It's rubbish. So, um, 
But I, I, I always loved, I mean, the character was there for a reason, and I loved Simon, because you need characters that um, are mostly about doing the right thing and, and being noble and selfless. And my mom is still hoping he's alive. Well, everybody <laughs> is. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, I thought that there was a conspiracy theory that he didn't kill himself, that like Elvis Presley faked his death kind of thing. Kill himself. Oh. Well, he didn't kill himself not, anyway. He's, that he's not dead. That, Self -self. that he's not dead. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, well, Prince Liam was, was at his bedside. I mean, we do use doubles dead. on this show. Yeah. But. No, I think he died. <laughs> sure. I, I, I was asked that, and I said, I'm pretty sure he did die. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jeffrey, what else is happening? I mean, honestly. People are just super, super excited for season four, and they're just, yeah, they're pumped for it. Yeah, um, I'm excited to have season four. We, we've, we've, we've finished our champagne. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> oh, uh, you know, it's, it's a show that has many, many stories to tell. And I think that we have only really scratched the surface of it. As a matter of fact, um, I, I, we, you know, we have this great writing staff. Many of them are here tonight. Um, <laughs> We have uh, Les Butler, who is not only one of our editors and directors, but has been with me since the pilot of One Tree Hill. Yes. We have Sid, our composer. We have Lindsay Wolfenstein, our music supervisor, the songs in tonight's episode. who um, consider the show a family and they consider the opportunity to tell those stories again with the fans and for the fans um, a really great gift, as do I. And we're all thrilled to be able to come back for another season. Um, besides the writers, we have a writer's assistant and a script coordinator who do most of the work, and that's uh, Allie Berger and, and Lauren Parks. Um, you guys should... So, um, well, I was supposed to put you over there, but no, well, we're swinging the boom. Oh. Um, so, it's not, am I still in frame, guys? So, it's not often that on camera, on a live broadcast, we get to see two people who have worked so effortlessly and tirelessly on behalf of not only this show, but Lauren was with me like as a PA on One Tree Hill, and we get, and we get to see them on camera become writers, because next season they'll be staff writers. Yeah! sort of get closer to what they're chasing. That's what it's all about. Yes. I want to you know, say thank you to the cast because TV is not like a movie. When you get a movie script, and as an actor, when you sign on to a movie script, you have the beginning, the middle, and the end right in front of you. And you know what you're signing on for. When you sign on for a TV show, you have the beginning. And you have conversations with me about where we might take the character or what we might do. And then it evolves from there. And you have to be really brave in the face of that and trust that you are making the right choices, that your voice will be heard, that you're being considered and included. And you guys do such a great job. And whenever I give an interview or I, or I talk to a reporter, I say how much I enjoy working with you because I do. So um, I know my mom is here. She's just hanging out. But for the rest of it, I, not only do I enjoy working with my mom, but I also I, I really, really appreciate um, the time and effort that you guys put into these characters. I always say that uh, you guys, I think, are lucky to have these characters. Personally, I think so. And, but I also, I also think the characters are really lucky to have you. Yes. And so well done, guys. So well done this season. Season. 
If you want to talk about the show, uh, you can do it here. You can do it Snapchat, uh, Instagram, um, Twitter. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and we will be back for season four probably sometime in November-ish. I know. Also, wait, wait, wait. Interrupt one second. Thanks to you for making yeah. it. Yeah.